A Canadian inventor, mechanical designer, and potential real-life Iron Man has successfully lifted a car with his homemade exoskeleton. James uh, Hobson of Kitchener, Ontario, has been dabbling in exoskeletons for about two years now and joins us now in studio. You are not in uniform. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> so how did it go, uh, the experiment lifting a car today? Uh, pretty great. Uh, we were doing it in the back corner of the uh, studio parking lot, and we actually we lifted the truck up with uh, the host of the Daily Planet in the back of the truck mm -hmm. and uh, went off without a hitch. That, which is a good thing. Now, take me back two years. It's not every day that someone decides that they're going to build an exoskeleton. <laughs> Why did you do this? Uh, I've always been inspired by comic books and movies and science fiction, and I feel like we're finally getting to the point where technology is starting to catch up to some of these crazy ideas that um, artists and authors had back in the day. I mean, if you look at, look at how much technology came true from uh, Star Trek, tricorders and communicators, there are cell phones mm -hmm. today. Flip phones. Yeah. Um, okay, you started with uh, an upper body device that we did a story on about two years ago. Uh, how did you graduate from that to, to this? So that was the very first foray into exoskeletons, and that was really just to see if I could, could do something. Basically, I got a few industrial components, pneumatic cylinders from a friend, and I thought, oh, I'm halfway there already. I might as well try building a, a prototype. Mm -hmm. And I did, and it caught some media attention, and I decided to keep going from there. Uh, the biggest problem with that one, obviously, was since it was an upper body, it didn't matter how strong the suit was, it was still my back and my legs trying to support the weight. Mm -hmm. So that's why we went back to the drawing board to build a lower body exoskeleton starting from the ground up, quite mm -hmm. literally, to take the entire load off the user. Uh, my recollection is that Tony Stark combined the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. I'll, I'll be getting there. How difficult of a jump would that be to, to mesh the two together? Uh, it wouldn't be too bad to do, but I'm planning on redesigning the upper body completely to suit the new design. That'll be even better and more powerful. Um, which, uh, which was tougher to make? Um, probably the lower body. It was a bit more, uh, a bit more technical uh, doing the build, and especially when you're working with those kinds of loads, lifting a car and a truck, you want to make sure everything is rock solid before you attempt to put it on and do something <laughs> like that. And, and uh, tell me how much that, that uh, vehicle weighed. I mean, it's not every day that someone tries to pick something <laughs> so like that. So the curb up. weight of that truck, which is without any fluids in it, no gas, no oil, is about 5,000 pounds. And if you do the, uh, the, the physics calculation on the, the lever arm, you're looking at about a, a deadlift of around 1,500 pounds. That is incredible. Okay, tell me about, you know, it's one thing to have a prototype, but what about down the road? I mean, how do you apply this technology to perhaps everyday life? So basically right now I'm just dabbling in the technology and seeing what I can do with minimal funding in my garage. And I document all of my, my projects on my YouTube channel. I have a pretty big following, almost 85,000 subscribers now. Mm -hmm. um, and eventually the goal is to actually create a commercial prototype that could um, go into production. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm just playing around, basically. Ha have any, have any uh, large corporations approached you and said, hey, we're, we're interested in what you're doing? I've been approached by a few companies, nothing I can disclose right now, but um, <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> James, thank you very much. Congratulations on the thank effort. You.